Welcome beautiful people to this beautiful moment, this little moment in time where we get to just connect in this space and today I just feeling a little bit inspired to talk about empowerment through this the use of or connecting with the elemental realm and connecting to earth. I think there is a desire in me to not come across or to not be sharing things that seem so, that are just like airy-fairy. Um, like there's a desire in me for this to be really grounded. Like to me, these experiences that I've been sharing about are really grounded. And there is empowerment here. This journey is about us coming into our integrity it's about us recognizing the earth as our divine mother and seeing that we are connected to all that is. So it's about coming into, into reality. Like we've been fed this idea of reality. We've been fed these images. Um, we see the world stage and all this glitz and glamour and we think that's what's real and we aspire to to be something within that. But it's all falls. Like, if it all falls apart, if we lose all our technology, if it all falls apart, if the systems crumble, what are we left with? You know, we're left with the earth. We're left with our relationships. We're left with ourselves. And so this journey really is about empowerment. It's about being grounded in reality, being grounded within truth. And it is for each of us to go on our own journey to discover what that is for us. Um, and I, I guess I want to encourage people to find out their own truth by connecting deeper into nature because ultimately you are of nature, you are made of the same matter as Gaia, as, as the earth and your spirit, your consciousness is, is the same, comes from the same place as the consciousness of the elemental realm, of the earth, of the plants, of, of the trees, of the water, of the animals, you know, it's the same stuff. So it's really just this um, desire for humanity. I have a desire to see humanity come back together with the truth of our reality here on so many levels. Um, so that's really why I share this stuff. I have this, I have this deep desire within me to help people to reconnect to their divinity within their hearts, within their bodies, within their spirit, within their soul, within the earth, just to remember that we're not these just consumer beings trying to be in competition with each other. So I'm just sharing what I want to share. So. I'm really feeling this energy of the earth today of, and uh, this feeling of the divine feminine that's rising at this time and the divine masculine that's rising, you know, the two are rising together. Um, yeah, because, you know, really, ultimately we haven't been, it's been a mass, we've seen it as this like a masculine dominated um, society but it's not the divine masculine and so the divine masculine and the divine feminine are rising together um, the I feel like the divine feminine is coming in and teaching us new and different ways of being and ultimately the masculine is going to be holding that and allowing that to happen so you know these two things are happening together it's not just one or the other um, so I'm just going to tune in, just take a moment to tune in, just see if, see what wants to, if there's anything else that wants to be expressed. Hmm, so I'm getting this feeling about I was getting this feeling back in November about really plugging into the earth, plugging into the grid systems, the golden grid systems, 
Um, so it's like if you want to make a difference, it's like start making this choice. What do you want to be plugging into? Where do you want your attention to be going? So this is invitation to be plugging in, to be taking time and spending time connecting with the earth, connecting with uh, with nature. And and for the people that live in town, I mean, I live in town, um, and I do try and get out and have walks as much as I can, but. You know, like we're always connected to nature, whether we live in town or not, we are always connected to nature. Our bodies are made with nature. We breathe the air that every el everything else breathes. We breathe the air that the trees make. You know, we all live under the same sun. We all live under the same sky. Um, we have plants in our houses and um, animals. And, you know, it's like, and, and we're connected to everything. We're connected to the earth. Gravity has us. We, we are connected and so for me it's about keep bringing our attention back to what is, what we have and our energetic bodies as well are connected into the energetic structures of the earth so we can keep plugging into the, the Gaia matrix as you, you can call it so we have the outside matrix of this crazy world that, that has you believe in crazy things which you're taught is normality and then we have we have this beautiful realm, this beautiful planet, and it's really time for us to start celebrating it and, and acknowledging it and communicating with it and, and recognising that we are it and, and honouring ourselves as it. Hmm. Anything else that wants to be shared in this moment? Yes, just this just really acknowledging the beauty of this journey that we're on and I know it's sticky and messy out there right now but it's also really beautiful out there right now like nature is still really beautiful there's so many beautiful places to connect to even if it's in local parks and even if it's just breathing in the beauty of a tree as you walk down the road you know it's all here and the more we start focusing in and seeing the beauty that is here, the more we amplify th that reality, you know, it's like, well, what do we want to be creating? And it, it's these really small, I'm um, just thinking about the pixie energy that I was talking about yesterday. They were talking about the, they like the small details in things. And, you know, it's can we bring our attention back to the small detail and, and really begin to just enjoy these small moments like right now the sun is all golden outside and it's just there's just a beautiful color outside and I can just enjoy that and and like let that pleasure be that simple I think pleasure is um I think all of this that I am sharing I'm sharing because it brings so much more pleasure into into my life and um, and we all have the opportunity to, to tune in to pleasure in any moment. Ah, yeah, so just allowing nature to fill your pleasure senses and allow yourself to drink it in and receive it. This, is, this time is about becoming really full, filling up with pleasure, Feel it, feeling, this is the feminine way, is to nurture, to self-nurture first, it's so that we become so full that we are overflowing, and we don't need to come from this place of depletion anymore, it's, let's fill ourselves up with beauty, with enjoyment, with sensuality, and just really begin to enjoy what we have, it's, it's really here to be enjoyed and, and to be celebrated. So that is my message in this moment. It's just what I want to share. And I'm just going to keep sharing these moments because it brings me joy. It's just me and my joy. It's just simple. So thank you so much for listening, getting all the way to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed it, please thumbs up, subscribe. Um, you can check out my website, which has got just a few little things on it. And, um, yeah, leave a comment if you want to share anything. And I send you so much love and so much love to your heart. And just know that your heart is just 
it's forever present with you, waiting to fill you with, with so much beauty and love. Everything you need really, truly is within you. So, so much love. Thank you for listening.